His works flow from the presence of His Spirit. John 14 verse 16, And I will pray the Father, and He will give you another helper, that He may abide with you forever. After Jesus made that statement in John 14, 12, that the works He did, we will do, and even greater works, because He went to the Father, He began to outline how, as disciples of Jesus, as believers in Him, we would do the works. He said we will use His name. He said we will walk in love and obedience, which gives birth to revelation and intimacy. The third thing He points out is this. It's the work of the Spirit. He said, you know, the Holy Spirit will come. He is another helper. He is somebody who is just like me. The Alos Parakletos. The one who is just like me who comes next to you. Another helper and He will abide with you forever. What Jesus is telling us is this, the works you're going to do, which I said, will come out of this by the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit. So we must learn to open our hearts and open our lives to the person of the Holy Spirit and learn to, uh, uh, to receive of His abiding presence his presence with us. You see, His presence with, with us talks about a, a communion with Him. It talks about a relationship with Him, Him abiding with us, meaning Him dwelling together with us. You see, if somebody comes to dwell with you, live in your house, uh, if you ignore Him, then there is no relationship, there is no benefit of that person coming and dwelling with you in your home. But if you develop that relationship with this person, you get to know the person, you have conversations, you talk, uh, you share, you exchange information, you begin to do things together. Uh, what happens that then that person coming and dwelling with you begins to have some meaning. It begins to impact your life. There is friendship, there is partnership, and there is communion, there's intimacy. And out of that come forth the works of Jesus Christ. And that's why the Apostle Paul, in 2 Corinthians 13, 14, he says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. You see, the Holy Spirit has come to commune with us. It talks about friendship. It talks about partnership, that means doing things together. It talks about intimacy. It talks about a place of closeness. And out of that abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, as we build communion with Him, will come forth the very works that Jesus did and greater works. Learn to build communion with the Holy Spirit. Talk to Him. Be aware of His presence. Recognize Him when He moves on you. Recognize when the anointing comes upon you. Recognize what the Holy Spirit is moving on you to do. Uh, have that closeness with Him, with the, with the Holy Spirit, with His abiding presence, because Jesus said, He's come to abide with you. He's come to dwell with you. He's there to commune with you. And out of that communion comes the works of Jesus and greater works than what He did. Let's pray. Dear Holy Spirit, we ask that You'll help us build this communion with You so that we recognize Your abiding presence, Your dwelling presence with us. And out of Your presence, because You are with us, let the mighty work of Jesus take place through us. Help us to grow in this, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.